Hey, Dr. Mori, uh, Uncivilized Vitality. This is one of our knot videos, and it's uh, I'm just going to use this bit of paracord. Uh, one of my um, favorite multiple-use uh, configurations for a piece of cord is a closed loop. So I know before that this is about six feet of cord, so I'm going to just grab about a three-foot section of this. I'm just going to drop these on the ground for now. And then um, you're going to want to nip off you know, both ends of your paracord if the end has been uh, burnt before. Yeah, I'll just put that in my pocket. I want to search that later. So um, I find, I usually have these pre made, but I'll find uh, about a three foot piece of paracord. I like brightly colored ones. And I'm going to pull, the, pull those seven strands out. I'm going to gut this paracord. Can drop that in my pocket as well all right so now i have a flattened uh just the the um covering or the gutted paracord and then i want to close this so i'm going to make this into a permanent loop and i'll show you uh, some other ways uh, some things you can do with it one in particular is the pile hitch and a closed loop works great so i'm just going to make a couple knots here so if i do two scaffold knots on the end which is basically a double overhand I don't know if you can actually see it double overhand and then you tighten that down on the cord All right tighten that down then we're going to turn it over we're going to do the same thing over here with this free end basically run that around you got a little barrel or scaffold not we're gonna tighten that down then you've got uh two and when you pull them together you get a uh, fisherman's bend or sometimes called a grinner i learned it as a grinner and now i formed a closed loop which is a little over uh, about a foot long right now i've got this closed loop lots of things i can do with this i like to keep a few of these brightly colored in my kit uh, other videos i showed my pitch kit uh, and my extra cordage kit for my shelters. And I always keep four brightly colored, about this length, two foot lengths tied into a closed loop. And these are great because I will show you a couple things. One, let's say I'm gonna make a, a quick shelter out of my, my ground cloth or my space blanket, and it's got these grommets. I can thread the knot, uh, my rope through my cord and tie a knot, but if I have some of these made, it's much quicker to just run a bite of the loop through Bring that bite up and then run the rest of the loop through the bite. And as I cinch that down, you've made what you would maybe know as a, uh, a lark's head if it's formed in the end of the rope, the free ends. But now it's a girth hitch because it's around this ring and it was closed. And I can tie that knot and easily, more importantly, easily untie that just by pulling on the loop when I'm done with it. So I put a bite through the grommet of my closed loop, reach through the bite, grab the rest of the loop, pull it through, okay, and then close that down. And I've made a girth hitch on that grommet. And now I've got, let me adjust that a little bit so I can get the knot out of the way just for illustration purposes. Now I've got this closed loop. So what do I do with this end? So this end is where a very useful knot called the pile hitch is going to come in. You can tie a pile hitch in the uh, the free end of a rope just by bending it over to form a bite. Let's like pretend that was a free end. But this is just the closed uh, bite in that closed loop. So I'll take this and then I'll find my, I'm going to use my tomahawk, uh, stake or anything I want to go around the pile. And I'm going to run the bite across that stake and around. And as I come around the other side, I'm going to pass under my running end and then take that closed loop and slip it down over the top of the stake. Now I've made a pile hitch or stake hitch on that say a tarp or a stick and I can drive that in the ground and I've tied that to my tarp uh, with a closed loop and it's it's easy to untie. I don't have to mess with any knots. It's just a matter of folding bites around. When I'm done I can slide the whole thing up and off the stake and it's free and then I can just pull that little part of the girth hitch and then the closed loop is right out of my, my grommet again. Okay. 
Well, flies are super active all of a sudden. So let's go through that again. One use of the closed loop. I've got this made. I'm using it for other things to keep some in my pocket. Grab the middle of that closed loop, push a bite through the grommet of my poncho or my ground tarp, push that bite up through there, reach through the bite with two fingers, grab the rest of the rope, rest of the closed loop, pull that through, close it down, attach to my tarp. Right. Now the pile hitch. Take the uh, stake, I'm gonna run the bite, let's do it from this side so you can see. I run the bite around the stick, and as it comes around, it goes under, under the rest of the rope, and then once it's passed under, I take that closed loop and I slide it over the top of the stake, pull that down tight, and now I've made my pile hitch. Very versatile. I usually put that on the stick first, then I'll stretch the rope out as taut as I need for my shelter, pound that into the ground. So that's the pile hitch and the girth hitch, both two very handy knots that you can do really quickly with a uh, closed loop. So you don't have to remember any of your other knots if you come prepared with these. If you can't remember your uh, your bowline or your, your taut line hitch, your trucker's hitch, these things work great. So uh, tie you a few, prepare these at home. I'd say four. I just throw this in my, my cord bag. Little closed loops that I can use with a girth hitch and a pile hitch. And then I can um, make my shelters. You use them lots of other uses, but check those out. If you like the knots, leave a thumbs up. Leave a um, comment on some other uses that you can come up with for a closed loop and uh, those two basic knots. And turn on the notifications and that sort of thing. Channel's going along real well. Um, real appreciative of everything appreciative of everybody that's been sharing this your your um your subscriptions and sharing of the channel go a long way toward uh helping support the uncivilized living foundation getting people back out in the outdoors in safe and ecologically responsible ways so thanks a lot